Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. Welcome back. Let's play some more EU4 as, uh, you know, Medwar never changes and all that. So we would like to get some points, but we can't. So we're just waiting, annexing him, getting that sorted out. Um, yes, it's fine. We have some rebels that are going to be firing here soon. Actually, if I stand my army there, Idari, in this Baroda, where's that at? Where is that province? Baroda. It is grassland, so I can afford to put them all there. Very good. So let's drill in that province. And I think I would rather just take tech. All right, so got a free siege tick for drill, and we'll take tech for sure. Save my innovativeness. Integration is a slow process. That's fine. Um, what? Mewar's opinion of John Poor. We're divorced. Um, does anybody have any vassals that I explicitly want? No, not really. So I think war taxes is probably our best bet. We will rival Malwa. Naturally. I don't know why we are unrivaled to him. We can't... Who are my rivals? Delhi. We can insult him. We can actually scornfully insult. No, we don't have the prestige, so... We'll do that, and then we probably should build a couple of boats, honestly. Get back to making money. As far as that goes, not gonna happen. Maybe I should change my deity. Um, wait, what? Why does it not tell you? Hey! This is not what I wanted. Oh, well, let me see here. Let me Google the Hindu. Hindu deities. U4. We are looking at... Nope. Hindu deities. So, we're looking at... Where are we at? Come here now. Dharmic Hindu. So we could go with um, trade efficiency, interest per annum, discipline, missionary strength, and fort defense. So I think we go with this Surya, or however it's pronounced. Where are we at? Surya is 10% uh, tax and 10% trade efficiency. So I'll take that. That seems legit. Help out with our income a bit. Definitely. Actually allows us to, uh, we're ahead on mill, so I would probably rather have a guy over here, but can't afford that. So I guess we're just hanging out for now. Hopefully we get an heir, who's good. Seven points is okay, I guess. It's still pretty bad, but um, we can't do anything about it. We're just gonna ride him, ride with him. If we get a, um, a thing it would be okay though. A uh, regency. <clears throat> we have unbalanced research soon. So I think I actually have to take this tech. Alright, we're probably over our limit. So, do we have cav? Mm, four cav is probably good. I don't think I can really afford them. So we need to get rid of three of them. So let's get rid of you and you two. Two with the low drill. Get rid of you. Yes, get rid of you. And then get you guys somewhere where you can both be without worrying about attrition. There we go, we keep on drilling. Professionalism is getting nice. Um, still waiting to core that up, though. I feel like if I cored that up, it would really help me financially, but it's fine. One more month. There we go. Take that. Yes, I know. Admin ideas, but I would rather not get unbalanced research and start losing or gaining corruption, which then makes us lose money, basically. So, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. How do we have so much money? 
Goodness gracious. All right, let's go with um, autonomy change or promoted cultures. I'll go with the autonomy change. Speaking of that, though, I should probably do this. Order. What's the culture down here? Gujarati. So that's accepted. Okay. I can state that. I'm not going to full state it because I can't afford it, but that'll help my income out a ton. That'll actually make it so we can get these guys sorted out. Um, I would like somebody a little more. Yeah, morale of armies is good. So there we go. Just like that. Our uh, money woes are solved. I will actually pour up a couple of these as well. Oh, of course he's coming over here. I wonder what would who gets calculated first. So I'm damn it. Bummer. Uh, let's send a guy up there. Very good. Didn't mean to send my whole army, so <laughs> that's kinda dumb. Uh Let's keep them here, I suppose. Provincial unrest is nothing I need to worry about. Free manpower, sounds good. A gift from John Poor, God bless. Um, well, I think it's probably in my best interest to try to get my trade income up, so let's upgrade this, which will take us from 777 up to, okay. So it'll pay itself off in a you know couple of decades. So we can now, do our clicks, so we should do that ASAP. Um, I guess we only get a hundred from them. Take the hundred from him. Uh, I suppose I should finish corn these. It's gonna help our income out way more than it otherwise would. Um, Uh, get a claim there. Should probably build a couple of trade ships. Help improve our uh, income over here. And we're just, you know, letting our AE tick down. And we are letting our manpower recover. He has claims on all this. Our truce with you is up January of 87, so... About that time, we'll start moving over that way. Gained a couple more force limit, which is nice. Um, could I ally Vijanagar? I can. Well, I will definitely do that. And I will rival Bengal, right? Yes, probably a good call. Keep my PP up, and that actually allows us to insult him. And we're still... Well, if I wanted to, <clears throat> yeah, I'll take the professionalism. Always take professionalism when I can. So let's actually improve with him. That'll save us from Bamanis. We can actually use him to attack Bamanis later on. So it's probably for the best. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's uh, pour up the rest of that. So our income is really good now, meaning I could probably get a couple of cannons. We have three available. So that third cannon, we also have our truce coming up here soon. So we'll wait for these cannons to uh, finish up. And we can declare our war. We actually have our navies ready to go as well. And uh, we will have you guys protect trade in Gujarat. That link Proust from 9-5 didn't go up, so it's good. <clears throat> uh, we're waiting on the cannon. We'll just have him come over and reinforce. <clears throat> Excuse me. And by the way, all of this, we were making all that money while we had 
our forts up, so it's pretty good. Um, okay, very good. Truce is up. Bengal, I did not mean to do that. It's fine. John Poor would come in, so I'll call him in. He'll keep hitting the wrong button. There we go. He'll take care of um, Bengal. Should probably come down here and finish off, get him out as soon as possible. Stack white. Boom, boom, boom. Very nice. Let's actually get our... Uh, oh. Okay, accidental stack wipe. I'll get you guys split now there. <clears throat> Excuse me. So this seed should, should go pretty quick. Level 1 forts are now going to be, you know, nothing we need to worry about. So Bengal, Bengla. Probably going to feed this guy to him. And maybe like this province as well, and I'll take these two. That's that's probably what the peace deal is going to look like. We'll just separate peace out everybody else. Bengal separately uh, will humiliate him, so I can keep my TP up. Put you guys over there. Let's uh, separate piece you for uh, trade power and all that. Oh, they got. All right, that's good. So let's get you guys over here. Let's actually get you guys over here. Have them over here. This is perfect. Uh, I feel like I had a edict over here, so let's take that off. <clears throat> what in the world? Oh, right, from the 13 that I took from him. I was like, how am I making that much money? I'm rich. Let's see if we can kill those cannons. Very good. Yeah, get that little guy over there. Get these little guys over here. Just want to continue sapping his economy. All right, so this is going to go to uh, Gwalor. This one, oh, John Poor, you jerk. I didn't call you in on promise of territory. I would like it if he could kill these rebels or if these rebels attacked him. Okay, apparently my, my little vassal is gonna, gonna fight these rebels. I would help him out, but my manpower is a little low. So I'll wait for John Poor to get over there. Um, so let's actually see if we can defend John Poor's capital. I'd rather that not fall. I feel like we've had this guy as a general for quite a long time. So this battle is uh, pretty even, but we are... We have a much better general. And we have combat ability, so that's fine. And um, so this is the peace deal, I suppose, since he's not going to give me that land. <laughs> Such a jerk move. Um, war reps, and then I'm going to separate peace out Bengal for um, humiliate. Somehow he's randomly just got guys over here, so let's, uh, eh. I suppose I could just hire one Merc. Take take him out. Uh, get a leader recruited over here. Very good. Should be easy. We have a leader, he doesn't. We also have... Oh wait! Ah! Too close for comfort. My one Merc stack. I lose the prestige, I suppose. Let's see if we can get a stack wipe. Probably not. Well, our vassal's gonna help us out, so... Very good. Um, lost our dude. Let's go with inflation... Unrest reduction. He's Zoroastrian. Hey! Zoroastrian. It's kind of cool. This is a level 3 fort? It is. Very good. As soon as we take that, he'll be much more willing to peace out. I don't think for humiliate, but um, 
withdraw it in contemplation or lose two prestige? I'll just lose two prestige. It's totally fine with me. Um, let's get you guys sieging down some stuff. He's gonna eventually win this. He's been doing that for quite a while. <laughs> All right, just sieging him down. Come on, hit, take the capital. There we go. So let's get you guys over here. We'll do a little four split. Boom, boom. We love losing prestige, I suppose. So we will humiliate war reps, take all his money. That's the uh, piece we're gonna get from this war. From him, from just Bengal. Having John Poor in here is super clutch. Um, let's get you guys split four ways. And get you guys split four ways as well. go we'll be able to get this piece from him sooner or later especially if he's just gonna sit over here and rot his men on this fort John poor sieging this down for me as well there we go Bengal very close get over here on his fort here and uh, we should be able to piece him out there we go I will get 400 ducats for that. Very good. I'll pay that loan off. And the war is over. Very good. Well, that was easy, right? So, we will take this. Um, we'll have transfer trade power. Unfortunately, he's not my rival anymore, which is a bummer, but that's okay. And that's the deal. Very good. The decent province here took his capital, so... Um... Right, so I'm thinking I could probably can the fort in my capital. No, actually, I definitely want to keep that. This zone of control is very good because this links up with this. These two link up and these two link up. And then I have one on my fort. So people are never going to get on my fort, my capital. Um, however, I should probably get some more defensible forts on my perimeters. Uh, it's a little tough. When's our truce with you up? It is up. So we can uh, do a little bit of this. That was you. So I'll just let my my vassal run over and start working on him. As far as uh, prosperity goes, we do have it in our capital, which is really nice. Maybe that's why we're making so much money. We gain prosperity. That being said, I'd rather not lose it. So we gained a decent chunk of prestige from that war as well. So let's get you guys over here. Get that production up. Production is key in this game. It may not look like a lot of money, but it is. Let's uh, have you guys hide when we're at war for now. Let's take an attrition on the way. 5%. Let's uh, split y'all up. So let's get you guys, hello, select my army, thank you. Get you guys over here and get you guys over here. Uh, we lost our general, bummer. The sooner we can siege him down, the better. Take a river crossing into this, but it's fine. Should be able to uh, stack wipe him. And now he's gonna take a river crossing to attack me, so perfect. So actually see if we can run down here and get a stack wipe on y'all. There you go. And then run over here and get a stack wipe on you guys. Stack wipe on you. And uh, there we go. See, draw stuff back and we should be good. This should be war. Game blouses. He is uh, recruiting mercs. Which is smart. I mean, it's what I would do if I were him. There we go. There we go. Cool. And that's the war. Now we just gotta let you guys... Um... No, 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 no. Come on now. 
you over here, and then you guys up here. And then we'll siege all that back. Very good. We are done improving with you. We'll get a couple more claims on Sind. I think that's actually all we can do. We are going to need to build some spy network on you. Get you guys all joined up down here. Um, let's actually do one of these guys. We'll definitely take the inflation. Inflation is just a number. Get the cannon down here. See if we can rip that one out. Very good. And uh, we'll take them both. We will annex both of them. Assuming our coalition will not grow, it will not. So that's good. And our borders are looking nicer and nicer by the minute. We will core that up immediately after saying that I didn't want to. Um, 30 army tradition, huh? Manpower recovery speed and infantry cost for 30 years. Pretty good. Pretty good. All right, um, so let's get you guys joined up somewhere useful. Drylands down here sounds good. Fight these rebels off. Uh, and we'll just have you drill. Improve relations. Anything we need to be converting, we can uh, probably convert that one. Umarkot. So is this all Sunni over here? It is all Sunni. All right, so let's actually put the uh, missionary strength over here, and that'll make that one a lot more doable. Spend a little money on it, but it's fine. We are uh, we're doing fine on money, if you can't tell. Jaipur, we can state up for free because it was a vassal. Oh yeah, our money's looking good now. Truce with Sind is up. He's allied to Delhi now, which is no fun. Um, let's get a couple more trade ships eventually. We're gonna wait for the yearly tick so we're not losing our monies, or our free monarch points. Oh, our consort died, bummer. One more month, we will take this. And I'm thinking I'm actually going to take um, the next admin. Because it'll allow us to start working on our next um, mill tech, which I think is going to be useful. And we're very stable considering the fact that we've been expanding like we have. This is a nice looking miwar. I'm definitely okay with it. Let's build some trade ships. Um, I guess we're ahead on Diplo, so I suppose I'll do that. Let's actually do a couple of dev clicks. Get a little bit of manpower, right? What? Does it say we have 29 and a half development there? How does that work? 29 and a half development. Interesting. Don't think I've ever seen that before. So let's uh, dev you a couple clicks. Yeah, it's fine. Need a little bit of extra manpower, so I will uh, do those little clicks there. Let's see if we get a neighbor to bonus. Nope, it's fine. And we will take quality, like I had said. We're gonna keep on focusing admin, just because we're still really behind on admin, but we'll get the rest of that sorted out in the next episode. Hope you guys are enjoying the series, and if you are, please show your support and leave a like. Helps a ton. If you want to see more of this, you can subscribe, and if you want to check out the Discord or support me on Patreon, the links for those are in the description down below. And with all that being said, this is Chewy Shoot, and I'll catch you guys later. I'd like to give a big special shout out to Corbett Gaming, Classified for Life, Radu the Beautiful, Lemongrass Bob, Bloodbound92, Minor Joe, and Lambda Driver for your guys' awesome support on Patreon. I encourage you guys to check out a couple of the playlists I got listed over there on the right and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll catch you guys soon.